Hey there guys and gals, this is Barbie Figaro and thank you so much for watching my video. So today I want to share with you three different type of lead magnet offers, otherwise known as like freemiums, that you could prepare so that you can give away on either a website or a sales funnel that will attract people into your sales process and will encourage them to willingly give you their email address so that you can continue marketing to them in the future. So if you want to learn three different type of lead magnets, and there's many, many of them, but we're going to go ahead and just discuss three of them today, then keep on watching. <laughs> So first of all, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you had a really awesome weekend. It is Monday, November, I don't even know, what, 13, I think? <laughs> um, and so this week I wanna focus on passive marketing strategies, right? Because we have to be actively marketing um, our, our business, or I should say really ourselves, uh, and I'll get to that in some videos this week, but um, one of the ways that we can start getting people to raise their hand and give us permission to keep on marketing to them is by offering them something of value. Now, before I get too far ahead of myself, please go ahead and like this video and please subscribe to my channel because I am trying to get my subscriber base up and so when you like and subscribe to my channel, not only does it keep you informed of new videos, but it also helps my videos get seen so thank you in advance for that and also make sure to hop on over to my website after at www.barbiefigueroa.online okay so why do we want to get people to raise their hands and give us permission to market to them i don't know if this has ever happened to you i know it's happened to me when you walk into a store and you're just browsing okay you're just looking you are not ready to buy just yet you just want to look around without any pressure without anybody breathing down your neck you know telling you the specials of the day and recommending products when you haven't really even asked right so maybe you've walked into a best buy and the salesperson is following you around can i help you can i help you can i help you i know i used to work my very first job was when i was 16 years old and i worked in a shoe um in a shoe retailer at the mall right and my boss was a very aggressive type of salesperson and i wasn't i was more of a passive marketer i was a passive salesperson I wanted to get to know the person first. I wanted to, you know, make them feel comfortable first and draw them into me rather than, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, boom, buy something. You know what I'm saying? And so maybe you've had that person that's just like this shark and they just w going for the jugular and they just want the sale and it feels uncomfortable, you know? And so you're just like, uh, I'm walking out of here because too much pressure to buy. I want to buy when I'm ready, okay? Well, passive marketing is very, very, uh, it's basically this concept, okay? Um, it is the process by which we, you know, become people of value and we give things away of value in exchange for people's contact information, for people's emails, etc. all right? So once they do that, once you give them something for free, they are willingly raising their hands and saying, you know, I do want to learn how to do that. And I will join your email list if you're going to, you know, continue to educate me. Why not? You know, so now you've turned the tables around and you get people attracted to you. So now that I've laid that out kind of like in a nutshell, right? What are three different type of lead magnets you can use? Well, there are so many and honestly, it really depends on the type of your business, the type of business you have. Um, I have clients who are in e-commerce and they'll give away a, a coupon, okay? Um, one of my favorite ways is, and, and you know, it's a little more time consuming, so you would have to really know your subject matter and uh, have the patience and the time. 
but I'm gonna give you three. Okay, so first one is if you're in e-commerce, give away a, a coupon off their first purchase. You can easily program this into WooCommerce. All you have to do is when someone pops on your website, just go ahead and do like a little pop-up window that says, hey there, uh, get 20% off your first order when you enter your name and email, uh, you can use a coupon today, okay? And as soon as they opt in for that, uh, the coupon offer, boom, the next page thanks them and gives them their coupon code, okay? A lot of big retailers do this. So that's one way you could do it if you are in e-commerce. The second thing that you can do is a video series, okay? So you can do like a five-day video series that leads up to something, okay? So you are just really giving them a ton of value. So who can use some uh, a strategy like this? Well, whether you you can be a, a business coach that's doing it or um, you know I've got a brother who's a dog trainer you can do a, a five-day mini class on how to train your dog or how to get your dog to stop doing something and day one let's teach him how to do this day two let's teach him how to do this day three day four day five and by the end of day five you can actually upsell them on your service all right and then the third one which i like and i think it is the simplest to do and it's something that i am going to be doing a class on very very soon is just a simple pdf ebook download okay something that is valuable, something that either teaches people how to do something or a checklist of things to avoid if they're doing X, Y, Z, okay? Um, that is a really simple thing. Even I uh, have a client who she did a seven-day devotional. She is a, a faith-based Pilates instructor and she did a seven-day devotional um, that people download on her website and she's generating leads like that. Okay, so it's all about being a person of value and doing permission based marketing. Give me a little something to try. Have you ever been to Costco where the lady at Costco, she offers you a little bite of, a st of something. Okay, what does she do next? You're like, ooh, this pizza is delicious. Oh, you like it? Well, let me tell you where you can get more. Right back there in the freezer section, you can have more pizza. Oh, well, I really don't feel like buying it this time. No, don't worry, I've got a 20% off coupon for the next time you come. Do you see what I'm saying? So these, this happens in the real world. So it's about taking those real world examples and figuring out how you can implement them into your online business, okay? And so we can easily do that through our websites, through building our brands, and through technology. We can recreate this process so that we can get more people raising their hands, wanting to learn more from you. So I hope you found this valuable. If you did, would you please go ahead and give it a like and make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you really thought it was valuable, I would really appreciate it if you would go ahead and share it with a friend. So this has been Barbie Figueroa. Hop on over to my website at www.barbiefigueroa.online and I've got a free resource for you and uh, that you can download. And I look forward to seeing you on another video. Bye.